Hey ladies, in this video we're going to be going over double turns. So first I'm going to go over the footwork and I'm going to go over spotting and then right at the end I'll have Demetrio step in and I'll just show you in partner work a few little tips that you should take into your partner work double turns. Okay, so but we'll leave that for the end. If you don't have a guy to practice that with, don't worry. Just listen to the techniques and then when you're out dancing just try to apply them um, or you can even do some of the practices on your own. So, let's go ahead and get started. So first we gotta go over double turn timing. So single, let's go over the single so you can understand the difference. So single turn, we just, let's do a basic. One, two, three, four. Let's turn to the right here. So we go like this. One, two, three, four. We just have one step on each and every count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's your normal three steps in a tap and it's on your normal basic timing. So it doesn't feel really different. A double turn is a syncopated step, meaning that there's steps in between the normal one, two, three, four. So the timing goes like this, and do it with me. I'm gonna do little claps. Please clap with me, because it's gonna help you, even though it seems kinda silly. So one hand up, doesn't matter which one. We're gonna go one and two and three, four. Again, five and six and seven, eight. Ready, and one and two and three, four five and six and seven, eight. So you'll notice there's a little pause between three and four and seven, eight. So we're going quick, 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 and then we slow it down, slow. Again, we go one and two and three, four, five and six and seven, eight. So now we're gonna do the same thing, but it's gonna go translate to our feet. So you can, it's mirrored, so just do whatever, Right leg, we're gonna be tapping. We go one and two and three, tap four. Again, tapping with our right, step it out, and that last one you tap. Ready, and one and two and three, tap four. So right now, I'm really making the steps obvious. When you're doing a double turn, you're not really gonna look that goofy, but I really want you to understand that you're actually stepping this out. Ready, and one and two and three, tap four. Now we're gonna do the other side. Ready, and five and six and seven, tap eight. Again, tap left, ready, and five and six and seven, tap eight. Yeah, sometimes on that pause, I almost take a slightly bigger step to stabilize myself. So let's try it again, tapping on the right, a little bigger step on that last one. I'll do it slow so you can see. Do it with me, and one, and two, and three, tap four. So right before that tap, it's almost like I can kind of stop myself and collect myself. Not big, but just a little bigger than close, 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 a little bigger, tap. Tapping on our right, ready, and one, and two, and three, tap four. Other side five and six and here it is and tap let me turn around so we can do it together ready and one and two and three four five and six and seven tap eight and there's no like hip movement involved because you're turning so you're not going to do anything like you know sexy with your hips nothing it's you're focusing on balance and keeping your body um, in the same position so your turns aren't wobbly. So don't worry about trying to make the hips move or anything. That's not what it's about. So now we're going to actually add the turn so you can see why I'm telling you this. So let's start with our turns to the right on one. So we're going to step out one. Yes, and we're going to turn our toe in the direction that we're going. So we go one and instantly we're going to go two. Yeah. And, so let's try it again. So we go one, and. So I should be facing you on and. Two, facing front, and. Yes, so I'm always going open, close, open, close, open, close. So let me show you. I'm gonna make this smaller as we get faster. So I know I say close, 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 but um, sometimes understanding open, close helps you get the directions a little bit. So bear with me as I kind of like teach you different directions and you may think that they um, are contradictory, but they're not. They're just gonna help you along the process. So we're gonna go open. When we close, I'm gonna face, I'm gonna face you, you should be facing away. And then open, and then close, face the other direction. Open, tap, close. 
So open, close, open, close, open, close. Yes, so we're gonna do that. You can kind of sing it along with me if you want in your head. We go open, close, open, close, open, tap, close. When I'm open, I'm facing forward. When I'm closed, I'm facing the back with the exemption of the end. So again, we go open, close, open, close, open, finish it off. Yeah? So I'm going to take little breathers in between so you don't get too dizzy because we haven't added spotting, so you might feel like, oh, yeah? So the faster that I get and the better that I get, I'm not going to do as much of this open close. I'm going to actually keep it really close together and basically in place. But as we're learning to rotate, sometimes doing that open, close, open, close helps us understand where we need to be at any given time. Yeah, so bear with me. So again, we'll do it a couple more times. Open, close, open, close, open, tap, close. Yeah, so let's speed it up and we'll add the counts. We go one and two and three, four. So you'll notice that the ands are the close. So one and two and open close, open close. So you'll notice that similar um, rhythm in the words that I'm saying or the counts that I'm saying. Da 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 ba 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 ba. They're all same. Yeah. So again, with counts, ready and one and two and three, four. Again, ready and. Open, close, open, close, open, close. So now let's go ahead and do this a little bit faster. But in order to do it faster, we have to add a prep. So a prep is right before we turn, it's kind of like a wind up of the body in order to give you momentum to turn. So when we turn on one, our preparation has to be on eight. So let's do it together so it makes a little bit more sense. We're going to do a half a basic this way, and on the way back, we're going to prep on eight. So do it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here it is. We're going to go seven as we step out. Instead of just tapping, we're going to twist our body and our shoulders like this. You can also tap out if you want, in or out, doesn't matter, but we need to prepare the body. So seven, eight, or Seven, eight, it doesn't matter. Some people, when they twist, they feel like they're gonna lose balance, so out helps, like a little kickstand. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it facing you, so you can mirror me or do whatever you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, or eight, whatever. Then we're gonna do our open, close, open, close, open, close. So we go open, close, open, close, open, close. Yeah? Let's do our prep one more time, and then we'll add spotting. I'm going to turn this way. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Here we go. Prep eight. Quick. One, and two, and three, four. Yeah? So, I know there's a lot of steps to this, so you may need to watch it many times, because we're just kind of layering this on. And if I do it too many times, um, in a row, this video is going to be really long, so feel free to rewind if you need something versus me making this like a 45-minute video. So um, if you're not ready for the next concept, totally fine, just rewind it. So the next thing is spotting. So um, when we're doing this over and over, if you don't have a, some, a place to look on a wall, you can get really dizzy really fast, and that's why I'm adding this in right now because it's hard to do this turn without spotting. So spotting is when you find a place on a wall, which I, I went over this in another video, so you hopefully have seen that. It should be spotting in turns. Um, when you spot, you need to find one particular place and look at it when you're turning so that the whole room doesn't spin. It's to know where you are and know where you're going to finish turning. Helps keep the room. It's like, you know, when you're a young kid and you look around the room like this when you're turning and it makes you really dizzy and you stop and you kind of go like this. It's fun when you're a kid, but it's not fun when you're dancing because you feel like you're going to fall over. So in order to 
not have that happen, we pick a certain place. So I'm gonna turn towards you so you can see what I'm talking about. And again, watch the spotting video if you haven't, but when I'm turning, I'm going to look where I'm gonna go and keep looking as much as I can in that direction versus looking around the room, scanning. Yeah, so uh, already I just did, I don't even know if I did one or two because it's so confusing. <laughs> you need to make sure you do that whip your head around so that you know how many turns you've done and you know where you're gonna finish the turn. So you need to whip your head around. So in this particular case, we're gonna be turning to our right like we've been practicing. So on double turn, or any turns, but specifically double turns, we're gonna go to our right, to our right, where we finish. So right, right, finish. Where we're going, where we're going, where we end up, okay? So this helps us keep focus on where we're headed, but then we also know where we're gonna stop, which is front. So here's front, this is where we're gonna stop. So we're going where we're going, where we're going, where we end up, yeah? There'll be one, two, three, yes? And we stay looking forward for four. So if we go slowly, we go one and stay looking on the one, even though I'm rotating my shoulders. I'm still looking in the direction. I'm not letting my head follow where I'm going. I'm keeping it there. So again, we go one. I'm looking in the direction I'm going. I'm staying looking in the direction. Now I'm gonna turn my head around really fast and look again. Two, so I'm there. And now I need to whip my head to the front. Three, and I stay four, yes? Where I'm going, where I'm going, where I end up. I'm gonna do a little faster so it makes sense. Ready, and one, and two, and three, four. Right, and right, and forward, and ready, and right, and right, and forward, tap. Again, two more times, ready, and Right and right and forward, tap. So with all that elements together, you have a lot to think about. Your feet, ba, 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 ba. You have your prep on eight to help give you speed, and you have your eyes where you're looking, yeah? So now that we've kind of gone over those, let's do it together, and then I'll add a little bit more on with the prep so you can hear a little more detail as to why we're prepping in the first place. Just trying to layer this on for you, yeah? So let's do a basic prep and we'll try two to the right. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, prep, seven, eight. One, and two, and three, four, basic, five, six, again, basic, and one, two, three, four, five, six, prep, seven, eight, turn, one, and two, and three, four, basic, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm traveling a lot for my double turn, so you can use your open, close, open, close, open, and get used to it, but the better that you get at these, the more you wanna focus on not traveling. Because in bachata, you very rarely travel as much as I'm doing, but when you're learning, traveling helps uh, your balance. But you don't wanna be, a guy gives you a double turn and you're just like, you know, tr moving a lot. So use up less and less, less space. As you get really good, try staying in place versus moving at all. And that's quite hard. So let's go ahead and try it again, but I'm gonna explain a little bit more of the prep. So we basic, one, two, three, four, five, six, prep, seven, eight. So most people when they prep, they like whip their arms around, but you. It's not really an arms thing, it's a shoulder thing. Dunk. And your arms just follow your shoulders, right? You're not gonna turn your shoulders without your arms. You're not gonna move your arms without your shoulders. So keep them here, wind it up. Okay, so when we do that prep, we make sure that our arms move with our shoulders, not one or the other. Boom, ba. So we want the whole torso to be on a diagonal. We're not all the way this way, we're in between, so right in here, this 45 degree angle, ba, ba. What we wanna do is take this left side of our body and help it, help us <laughs> get momentum to turn to the right, yes? So it's almost like when you're gonna wind something up 
and you, you kind of go like, go like this. Let's say you're going to spin something. You wind up first, then you spin, right? You don't just take it from a stop position and try to go. You wind it up. Or right before, let's say you're going to spin a little quarter, you go the opposite direction and you spin. It's kind of like that. We're winding it up a little bit first in order to go. So take this side of your body and twist it. So it's not your arms turning you. It's this left side of your body is pulling in. That's what's got to help you get momentum. You don't want to rely on your guy to give you momentum or else it's going to feel like he's dragging you. You need to generate your own momentum around a turn. So keep that in mind when you're prepping, that it's not just for looks, it's functional. We need to take that momentum and help us carry us through the turn so we can be quick and light in our turns. So we don't we aren't slow and like late on our turn we're quick and light as a feather yeah so let's try it one last time with that in mind and then we're going to transition to our right side ready and one two three four five six prep use your left side of your body one and two and three four five seven eight so if you need to try this more before you move on to the other side then be my guest totally fine um, take your time. They're not easy and they can make you dizzy. So if you need to take breaks, take breaks. Uh, I've, I've turned <laughs> thousands and thousands of times, so I don't get dizzy as easily. So feel free to pause and like try something else before you do it with music. Or sometimes people will do a little jumps up and down and that's supposed to help. Or turn the other direction. So if you're turning to your right, then you kind of do a little turn to your left. I've heard a little tricks here and there. Someone said, hold your nose, whatever helps, or just pause turning for a while. So let's go ahead and try the left side with music, and then we'll get into our right side. Yes? So let's do it with music. All right, let's try this slow. Ready? Five, six, face, first. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One more basic. And one, two, three. Here we go. Five, six, prep. And one, and two, and three. Basic, basic again, just so we can not be dizzy. <laughs> and last basic, here we go. Five, six, prep, and one, and two, and three, five, seven, eight. Another basic. Here we go. Five, six, prep, and one, and two, and three, five, Seven. Let's go. Last time. Here we go. Five, six, prep. One, and two, and three. Okay, let's go. Go ahead and go over the left turn because we just did a bunch of right turns. Yes. So let's go ahead and get started. So same thing. Let's just go over the timing just from the top. Ready and. One and two and three, four, five and six and seven again. One and two and three, four, five and six and seven, eight. Yes, let's transfer it to our feet. Ready, tapping. One and two and three, four, five and six and seven, eight. Let's do that bigger step on four and eight. Ready, and one and two and three, sorry. Five and six and seven, eight. Yes, let's just to get that timing back in, make sure you didn't lose that. So let's start with our steps again. We're gonna do open, close, open, close, open, close. So we go one and two and three, four. Sorry, that's actually five and six and seven, eight. We go five and six and seven, eight. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Ready, and open, close, open, close, open, close. So I'm going to add in spotting now just because it's almost impossible to do without correct spotting. You feel a little crazy. So we're going to go left and left and forward and or five and six and seven, eight. So every five, six, seven, you're going to be looking somewhere. And then eight, you're just continuing to look forward. 
So here we go, left and left and forward and left and left and forward and, yeah? Or five and six and seven, eight. So let's go through that with the looks, super slow. Don't worry so much about your feet, just the looks. So we go left and left and forward, stay forward. Again, remember that when we look to the side, even when we rotate our shoulders, we stay looking that direction. It's not until we have to do we whip around. Whip around, and again, let the shoulders rotate as we continue to look to the left. Then we look forward, stay forward. Yeah. Don't worry about if you're taking big steps right now, just travel back again like I told you in the last one. As you get better, you can naturally just take up less space. But don't judge yourself now, just get the hang of it, get the timing, get the speed, get the momentum, get the looks, all more important. And then once you get better, just focus more and more detailed. Yeah? So, again, our spots are left and left and forward and tap. Another way of saying it is where you're going, where you're going, where you end up. And yeah, because depending on what it is, you will look in different spots. But for now, it's we're going to our left, so we go left, left, and we're ending forward, so we look forward. Yeah? So we go left and left and forward and. Yes? So now let's do the prep. Yes? And we'll incorporate all of that. So we go base, half a basic, we prep, we turn. We'll go through it slowly, so don't get overwhelmed. It's totally fine. So we go half a basic. One, two, here's our prep. Three, four, so it's right away. Again, one, two, remember the whole torso turns, not just the arms and not the shoulders without the arms. So three, four, foot can be out or in, doesn't matter. Then we're gonna go turn right away. That first step, the toe goes out. Ready, and one, two, turn the torso. Now we go five, five, and six, and seven, eight. Yes, again, slow. One, two, prep the turn, and five, and six, and seven, eight, and basic, two. And let's keep doing a basic so we don't get dizzy. Let's do one more. So just remember that when we're doing our prep, we're using this right side of our body now to twist. So it's the outside part to help wind us up into our turn. So let's do it from the basic. And one, two, prep, and five, and six, and seven, eight. And I'm not too particular how you hold your arms. Just don't let them fly around. So here, some people can do here. You can do, you can touch them in the middle. Um, this is like very jazz. You can do whatever you want. But just make sure they're not hanging below the waist. You could even go here if you want. Doesn't bother me. So just control them and make them look like you know what's happening with them, even if it's very, very simple. So we just don't want like, you know, like you look like a kid who's flying around. So just control them and keep them looking somewhat good. You don't have to go crazy styling. So let's try it again. Half a basic prep. And one, two, three, we prep. Five and six and seven, eight, full basic. And we go half a basic prep. And one, two, prep here. And five and six and seven, eight, basic. Let's do a music. Five, six, five, six, seven, basic. One. Half a basic. And one, two, prep here. Five and six and seven, eight. Basic. Let's do a full basic so we don't get too dizzy. Another one. Here we go. Half a basic. Here we go. Two more. Half basic and we go. Half a basic, last turn. Breath. 
five and six and seven. Okay, so for the last portion of this video, I'm just going to give you some tips on how to incorporate this into partner work because the frame is a little different and you do have to think about your partner and your arm when you're doing double turns. This has a whole class in the intermediate partner work, I think right in the seven essentials of the intermediate. But in case you, don't, you haven't watched that yet, this will just be a few little pointers. Dimitri? So when we do a double turn, we go ahead and prep. He's going to prep you, hopefully like this, and then if all is well, you're not going to try to keep your arm like this. You want to try to keep it low-ish. You can kind of do this, but then as soon as you get into your turn, you need to get into this position with your arm as much as possible. As soon as he starts turning, your elbow is going to want to flare, and your job is to kind of pull it back down. Yeah? So uh, he's going to prep again. So he's going to pull this arm in here, watch. Then he's going to take these two fingers, to pretend I'm doing it with you, and pull them down into this like spidey hand. And my job is to imagine you're holding like a, I say, a walking stick, and then you flip it upside down. So go ahead and do that walking stick, and you flip it upside down. You'll notice that it's really hard to keep your elbow down here. It's almost impossible to have it perfectly like this. So you're just going to do as much as you can to keep it up. And don't let that elbow just do whatever it's want, it wants. You're going to constantly think about pulling it down. So again, prep, two, three. Watch. He comes in. He's going to do that little spidey hand. And then I'm going to wrap. I don't ever squeeze, ever, ever, ever. And then I'm going to work on pulling that elbow down. I'm not going to worry about my, my feet just now. And I just slide around this bit. So I'm letting his hand move or move my hand but I don't tighten it I always need to leave like space here so his hand can move if you don't as soon as he tries to rotate you'll twist his fingers yeah and you'll really hurt him it's it's um yeah it's, it actually can hurt the guy pretty bad those little knuckles so we don't ever squeeze we just keep a room here so it's his job to keep like a halo above your head, and it's your job to keep this as much of a 90 degree as you can, even though your wrist is like cocked like that. So again, you're gonna go here and keep this position as much as possible. Yeah, so you're kind of like this. You can have your arm here. This can, arm can do kind of up here. Some people will wrap it, some people will wrap it here, here, here. This one is however you want. Just don't have it too far out so you don't elbow the guy. This one's really important that you don't flare. The minute that your arm flares, you'll start leaning back and then this happens. So we wanna keep the arm in front of us and we wanna keep our head above our, um, the balls of our feet. So if we lean our head back, we'll start to travel back. If we lean forward, we'll start to turn into him. So we gotta keep this um, straight and keep the knees slightly bent. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you a few really quickly. And keep your position here. Yeah, again. Let's see if you can. So you'll notice that I really try to keep this position as much as possible, even though my wrist is turned. And as soon as they start getting that quick turn, I try to pull everything in and above my toes and just keep that position. And I really fast feet. So we'll do again on each side. And you'll notice my spotting is exactly the same as I taught you. So watch, I'll spot camera and camera and partner and. And the other direction would be wall and wall and partner and. Wall and wall and partner and. Yeah? So you gotta really whip around. So hopefully that helps. Again, watch that partner work, double turns one. Um, we go over a lot of the same drills, but we. <laughs> hair. We dive a lot deeper into all these hand positions and stuff like that. This is just some tips. Yeah, so hope you enjoyed that. See you in the next video.